All right, everyone. I am Afrilu Jr. We are back in Farnham's Legacy, where I think I figured out the. Uh, look for. I tried the tutorial, and I just. I couldn't figure out the tutorial sector. There was like a map or something on the wall on the skybox, and I tried to track with the, the thing and tried to do spe specific things, but it insisted on having me go through all the way through the fights. Interesting. Um, the um, it insisted on having me go through, and I really didn't want to go through the basics, especially since I have limited time to record. So I decided to, um, I just fiddled around and I actually found the end. And I just said just to fiddle around with it. Uh, farm's journey, interesting. Author, Supreme Scientist. Directed to all parent and research staff from the Supreme Scientist. The parent and empire demands more of its scientists, science and research officials using only the crew technology many cycles ago. Even that Terran Lole Farnum was able to discover many remote jump gates. We have vastly superior parent and intellect and technology at our disposal, yet have found no working gates of, of use to the empire. This situation cannot be tolerated, and we must be seen to achieve far more than the low lives, or we risk, oh, excuse me, or we risk bringing utter dishonor to the empire. Their privileges and comforts has befriended superior beings are placed at risk of the immediate effect. If you do not show significant progress uh, progress in your projects by the next review date. Okay. So that looks like... So basically how it works is... Uh, let's go through that orbital accelerator right there. Transorbital Accelerator, the Void, Beta. Entering the Void. So basically, you see that little heads-up display. It automatically turns on, and basically what happens is, you see that little reticle along the edges that rotates with my ship? That points you in the direction where the object is. When you're centered, it shows up like that. I kind of wish it had explained this when, when we started needing it. And we just fly in that direction and just try to keep right on. Now, you see there's the, um, on either side, to the bottom of the reticule, there's those three sliders. And they're like the little ping. The ping icon tells you that there's something detected. On the outsides, you have those three bars. That tells you how close you are. So right now, we're very far away. As we get closer, it gets bigger. It starts to fill up. And when we get very close, I think it's pointing us towards that abandoned ship. Dolphin. Okay, it automatically highlights them. That's good to know. So let us get out. How do I do that again? All right, uh, shift E. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Dolphin. Ship computer control transferred. Advanced discoverer. Dolphin. What do you have in your cargo bay? Uh, oh, some actual cargo that we can use. So, dock at our headquarters for Dolphin now. Granted. And let's go through that other transorbital accelerator I saw. Actually, let's unlock those stations first. And then we'll keep exploring. Entering the void, Gamma. Up full speed. Yeah, let's get let's hit those stations first. Well, let's not hit them, but let's unlock them on the map. All 
right, we want to go there. And let's see if what let's see if we can find this thing this guy's looking for. Uh, the hat for the hyperspace access point. Hyperspeed access point. Uh, found it. There we go. Autopi autopilot activated. Do we not have any navigation? Do we not have any beacons? The Argon Discoverer compared to other ships in Okay, apparently not. So we need to find out where to buy some navigation radar status. Hopefully at this the science station. station is credited with making yep. Docking granted. Autopilot activated. Oh, to play relay beacon is what we need. Is there a relay beacon available at this the research station? This station is credited with making some great discoveries. The facility researches everything from weapons and ships to archaeology and uh, medical equipment. No. Autopilot off. Autopilot. Activated. So where do we get? Oh, we have to make them ourselves? Oh boy. So let's buy some, about a thousand energy cells. Docking granted. Docking granted. Notify me when order complete. Now. Hmm. And we definitely don't have any in our cargo hold, do we? No. So I think, yeah, about a thousand... No, let's do 1,200 energy cells if we can uh, get that many. Hopefully we can start uh, making money soon. Otherwise, this is going to be a very slow playthrough if I have to craft all these things constantly myself. Actually, what does our headquarters station have in it? Found abandoned. Little is known about this incoming message. Oh, it has three relay beacons already. Okay. Let's well, still buy 1,200. Actually, never mind. Uh, let's not waste the credits till I know I need them. Granted. Autopilot off. Uh, that looks like it might be the accelerator to our destination there. I'm hoping that's the south uh, accelerator. I guess we were meant to check the uh, inventory. Yep, that was the south one. Perfect. That should align. Yep. Entering the void. Epsilon. Space Lab Headquarter. Docking granted. Autopilot activated. Look 
come into dock. We'll transfer the relay beacon so we have some. Successfully docked. Welcome back on board. Connection to local trading network established. Autopilot off. Transorbital I did pick them up, right? Yes, I did. Perfect. And we'll come back later for the uh, objects to pick up here. Yeah, I kind of like the uh, idea behind the uh, LFL. Because it gives uh, other ways to make money. Entering Once we find the Explorer's Guild, Gamma. though. Auto autopilot activated. Incoming message. Oh, that's probably the freighter. I mean, yeah. Relay beacon ejected. Hyperspeed access point. Autopilot. Autopilot. Autopilot activated. Relay beacon ejected. Autopilot activated. Relay beacon ejected. Oh, we found it. Transorbital accelerate. Hyperspeed access point. How close are we have? Within three accepted. kilometers? Entering the void. Alpha. Gate. Holy vision. Epsilon. No, we found the uh, gate. Autopilot. Autopilot. Let's activate. continue this on. Hopefully there's some accelerators or something. Actually, let's see what uh, let's let's just see what's on the other side of this gate rather than speculating since we're already traveling through it. Entering holy vision. Epsilon. Oh, I see a mine. Hello, you would be wise to leave this sector immediately. Your current status prohibits you from entering all primary pyramid sectors. Failure to do so will result in lethal force being directed against you. You have one misora to comply. All right, let's get out of here, I guess. Now, do we have to manually access the point each time, or can I Alpha. issue an autopilot command from here? Command rejected. No valid no routes. Valid okay. Route to destination. The autopilot will not work until we have a transorbital accelerator here. Hyperspeed access point. The void. Gamma. Alright, apparently the autopilot cannot point us towards hyperspeed access points at all. And I think it's three. Let's try f not f not four. Okay, if you're within I'm three kilometers, seven. perfect. In we go. Entering the void. Now we're here. Docking granted. Auto All right. Activated. Uh, do do. Okay, all these have the same. Entering 
I want to read the description of Holy Vision. The strike and intense nebula in the system inspired devout Paranid to claim it as their own. Excuse me. Some among them asserted that the unique nebula and especially its coloring are divine manifestations, which naturally led to becoming a place of pilgrimage. The Emperor Tsar even considered establishing an official seat of government governance here to bolster his influence and control over what might become the most important place of worship in Paranid space, hence the greatest source of legitimacy for anyone holding public office. Okay. So they found the second jump gate at least. Entering the Void Delta Royal Boron Research Station. Okay, yeah, the uh, 25 rank, kilometer range on the comm thing is still there. What do you require? I found the jump gate. We must explore the system uh, we're about to get kicked out. Hopefully we will find a way home. Uh, let's see what happens when I dock. Will the comm unit stay up? Yeah, I get, we get kicked out. Successfully docked. We know. Connection to local. What do you recommend? That is great news. We must explore the system behind it. Hopefully, we will find a way home. Uh, I explored the system a little. It leads to a parented colony, but the parented were hostile and didn't give me a chance to explain the situation. That is a pity, but I have an idea. Fly to the Void Beta and find a parented called Cremaculanx. In his heyday, he was quite influential. And I am sure you could convince him to help you. I will search the database for more information and send you everything I find about him. Okay, I'll be on my way. Send all the de He just said he'd send all the details. So, Void Beta is to the north. So let us get going. Command accepted. Oops. Autopilot not being willing. The Dacus is going to get old very fast. Transorbit autopilot. Very fast. Autopilot activated. Incoming oh, message. that's the information. Oh, let's turn off SATA so I can actually read it. All right. I've searched the corporation database. Now, I have found very little information regarding Skrmanko Uh His background is unclear, but his first na his name first appears in a report from the early 26, uh, 764, so about 20, uh, 16 years ago in-game, about a failed exploration mission to Zar Zen, a planet in the consecrated fire system. This suggests that his home system may be also be located somewhere in the second duchy. Details of his later career are somewhat vague, but he shows up in several military research articles relating to the Parented Jump Gate project of uh, 765, which resulted in a connection to the Terran home system. After that, there's a three-year gap when he next appears in 768 at New Time. He has advanced through seven military ranks and commands a frigate. At this point, his name only features in rather uneventful reports involving patrol missions within Parented Core Systems. And 772, he apparently left the military and started a career as a diplomatic agent. Initially working only for the parent government, he later expands his portfolio to cover various corporations, specifically Atreus Shipbuilding Currents, John Furco and Strong Arms. At the end of 778, he vanishes again, only to show up a year later here in this isolated system. This all sounds rather dubious to me. If I had had a guess, based on his enigmatic eh, enigmatic history and irregularly yet high rank ranking military career, I would say that Krimanko Lanks Krimanko Lanks? Yeah, worked for the Parent and Secret Service. It wouldn't surprise me if all he had uh, worked for the Emperor himself as an oh, I need to, uh... Alright, let's try this again. The void beta. Uh... Uh, for the priest, if he had worked for the priest emperor's arm himself as an agent, he certainly has the knowledge and the charisma to have done so. Um, Kermankolanx was one of the first of the others to be stranded here, just a week or so after I arrived. To be frank, when I first met him, he didn't seem all that lost or confused, more like he was looking for someone. His persuasive nature was not immediately apparent to me, but after a while I noticed that the way he subtly influenced everyone he talked to to get what he wanted. Using these skills, he gathered information, obtained his own office on one of the abandoned stations, and even acquired a private docking bay for his ship. If there's anyone who will be able to help us persuade the parent to grant us access to their systems, it'll be him. Solar power plant docking granted. All right. Autopilot Let's active. go uh, meet this parent. Ed. I gotta make sure that wasn't a different message. It wasn't. Successfully docked. 
Queen Atreus and the Kingdom of Boron bid you a peaceful welcome aboard. Um, I found the gate to a parented system, but without your help, we have little chance of being welcome there. Mainly because I'm the only one who knows the location of this gate, and therefore I'm the only one who can help you to leave this unholy place. That's a very good reason. Maybe Nolani knows a way? Oh boy, there's going to be a lot of back and forth, oh, or isn't oh, there? Oh. Transorbital Accelerator Command Accepted. This is... oh boy. Entering the Void Delta. Oh. Royal Boron Research Stocking Granted. Autopilot Activated. He didn't tell us what. Uh, did anyone else say that he didn't tell us what he was looking for? Successfully docked. Queen Atreus and the Kingdom of. Connection to local trading network established. Oh, there's an Explorer's Guild rep here. Welcome to the Explorer's Guild. How may we be of assistance? I'll turn my discovery Please points. Choose a reward on which to spend your discovery points. Ooh. With the owner of the freight container too. Oh, seven, three. hold on to that for now. What do you require? Uh, I found Kramankalenx. However, he won't help us without getting something in return. He wants a valuable item that is required to halt the gate shut down. Unfortunately, I have no idea what that item is. I do not know what he is referring to either. However, while you are away, I had a look at some research papers that were among the data from the headquarters. Now, yeah, if anything is useful. First scans of this system have shown an unusual mineral concentration in the system's asteroids. Due to the jump gate problems, this was not investigated further. Maybe you can find something interesting enough there to please Kremankelangs. I'll scan some asteroids, maybe one will contain something of interest. Alright, do I have a mineral the scanner Argon on board? Compared to other ships in the Argon fleet is I do have a mineral scanner. So, does this thing have the ability to scan for me? No, what software is available? Okay, not happening anytime soon. Let us. Oh, apparently they are leading us somewhere specific. White Zeta is where it wants us to go. Command accepted. Entering the Void Epsilon. Yep, while we're Auto here, let's figure out what. Why not right towards the accelerator for now? Hmm. Yeah, I figured it wouldn't lead us straight through the gate. Uh, it wouldn't. Well, we're getting much closer. Where's these asteroids? Oh, it's probably pointing us towards that abandoned ship. Demeter. Oh, another transport vessel. Demeter, asteroid. Demeter. Ship computer control transferred. Advanced discoverer. Transorbital exo command accepted. Docking granted. So let us see what we can find on these asteroids. This is definitely a well. 
I can't say it's definitely a wild goose chase. It feels like a wild goose chase because, once again, he just told us he's looking for something, and then we, then we did it arbitrary and said, "Oh, let's go scan some asteroids." Like, that's very arbitrary. Entering the autopilot arc. Yeah. Asteroid. I think you have to get relatively close to scan an asteroid. Oh, scan range ten kilometers. So relatively, not too close. Asteroid. We'll be doing a bunch of this. Asteroid. Oh boy. Asteroid. How many asteroids? <laughs> We've only scanned. That's quite a few asteroids, so this might take a fair bit. Well, no luck. Asteroid. I wish it point us just straight, straight. I wish it point us straight towards the closest asteroid. Actually, how's this place doing? On? We can start making money selling sil. Uh, if those, if the solar power plants aren't, uh, what's faster? Seven. Let's start distributing some energy cells if we can. Warning, unidentified up scan complete. Attention, mine detected. Artifacts. Yeah, I can barely see where these rocks are. Cargo bay now contains artifacts. Silicon mine L Alpha Docking granted autopilot activated. You know what? Actually while we're doing that, hmm. I'm eventually gonna wanna have to start setting satellites up in the some of these systems so I can start getting prices. So I can start doing some trading. Make some money, because right now I only have twenty thousand. So it definitely could use some more credits. Entering the void, Epsilon. Dolphin. Come on, little dolphin. You can go 130 meters per second. There you go. I really can't compare its speed to mine though. I have uh, four, my, my this ship goes 400 meters per second, so. Entering the void, Delta. A new news article. I'll wait for us to dock before I check out the news article. Successfully docked. We, Atreus, and the Kingdom of Boron bid you a peaceful welcome aboard. Connection to local trading network established. Business partner steals station. In a move that many have seen potentially one of the most despicable acts in recent commercial history, a station owner within the ocean of fantasy five, Delta six, has quite three, literally three, stolen the ground the out from under his partner's feet. While there's still no confirmation on who the individual is, what we do know is that sometime within the last Missouri, in the shadow of darkness, an entire Silicon M Gamma was shut down, dismantled, and relocated to a sector as of yet unknown. All workers were dismissed without a word of any rumination or settlement. It's so sad to see things like this happen. I guess every sector has its own share, fair share of joy and pain, but this is something else altogether. I'd like to think this is the last time I ever have to witness such an event. These words from a worker who had recently been transferred from the affected area. 
Despite our best efforts, there's been little official word from its sector authorities, save that everything possible is being done to ensure that those affected are kept informed. We will, of course, bring you the news as it breaks. Stay tuned to this data stream to receive the latest from our... Okay, so that's basically all it is. It's a little flavor. Station removed after pressure of complex. Uh... Find the discovery in a pleasure complex operation running within the very confines of a silicon. Okay! Very confines of a silicon mine M alpha. Sector authorities at Family Ronker have chosen to take firm action by shutting down the facility completely, with a complete deconstruction and removal being initiated at the owner's expense. Hoping that this may cause other owners of such plants to think again, but we've yet to see if further operations of this kind are discovered. It strikes us as being somewhat strange that workers did not notice the presence of a scantily clad pleasure borgs smothered in no strobe oil. Whether they're in collusion with those involved or simply getting free or cut price services, we have no idea. Okay. It's sad to see things like this happen. I know every sector is good times and bad, but it still makes me wonder why these things always ha seem to happen here. I know we'll get over this in time, but right now I'm just trying to make it through the here and now. That's always the toughest part. These words from a worker who is still trying to come to terms with the events that have unfolded here before our eyes. Yeah, that worker was partaking. Um, there is no word yet as to whether the station sector yeah, authority involved just, plans to replace the station with immediate effect or allow the area to remain. Okay, read. so Please that's just uh, that's just little flavor, little bits and bits. So where am I? Right, I was going to talk to uh, Ola Ni. I have found this piece of unusual metal. This somehow looks familiar. Take. Go ahead. I have another task for you. As long as it helps find a way out of the, the system. The system is running short on Bufu, and I notice that your headquarters is able to construct ships and stations. I have acquired blueprints for Bufu Chemical Lab. If you can build one, this should help to keep the dependent stations in the system running smoothly. How would I do that? I will send you the details later. At least I don't have to carry anything around, right? Oh, you will need to acquire a station transporter to build the station. I cannot really help you with that one, but I guess if you find a stranded TL somewhere, you might be able to work something out with its captain. I'll keep an eye out for stranded TL ships. Incoming message. Uh, the space lab where you have taken care of is a powerful station, able to provide many unique facilities that are equally useful to corporations and independent entrepreneurs alike. Most importantly for us right now, however, is the ability to construct ships and stations. The headquarters comes with a ship blueprint as standard. I have provided you with the first station blueprint to go with it. Many more functions are available. Don't panic, though. All the details can be found in your survival guide. Okay. So, I guess our next mission is to find a TL. Uh, maybe we just do Brand to Brano. I've done. Uh, imagine unlock another section of the station. It contains more. So, may help you build the station. It should make use of them. This type of station is okay, that is fairly handy. Discoveries. The facility researches everything from weapons and ships to archaeology and medical equipment. That's the wrong station. Derp. Found abandoned. No, okay, that's definitely more resources than there were there last time. Station, nor about its previous owner or owners. It does, however. So, we are now looking for a TL. I haven't seen any around, so let's go poking around, way around to other systems. Transorbital Accelerator, the Void, Epsilon. But that's going to have to wait for the next episode. This episode is wrapped up. I will see you guys in the next episode.